Elden Ring's popularity with normies thus brings new eyes not only to FromSoft, but their unquestioned inspiration from Berserk, the greatest manga of all time, obviously. I know people will argue for other mangas, but really, what manga has had as much impact on entertainment? Sure, you could say DBZ. But let's face it, Dragon Ball Z is about as complex as a pack of chicken nuggets from McDonald's. Get mad at me if you want, but Ultra Instinct is whack. They literally power level Goku to having his normal hair with frosted tips. Goku's hair has gone through more changes than a kid on TikTok's gender pronouns. Gay. I've been a Berserk fan ever since Sword of the Berserk Guts Rage came out in America on the Dreamcast. It was cheap as dirt back in the day, because at the time, the Dreamcast was already a dead console. But nonetheless, the storyline for Guts' Rage was like nothing I'd ever seen before. I began to research for years, trying to find a sequel to Guts' Rage, which led me down the path to the 90s anime. Thank God for the internet. Because I was like, where's the season 2 of the Berserk anime that led to the video game? And you find out there's the manga. Then after I finally got to read the manga, a few years later, the special animated movies dropped. They were okay. But I didn't much care for them. And we're not going to speak about the most recent Berserk anime that was a complete and utter travesty to everything that is Berserk. Why? <laughs> you little piece of dribble piss. This video is sponsored by Surfshark. Remember the old days of the internet? Anonymously living your best life and buying things or clicking whatever worry free. Now big tech watches every move you make and tracks everything you click. Like a modern day Mary Kay girl always looking to sell, sell, sell. Surfshark is here to clean up your web experience. Block those pesky trackers and cookies. What a man looks at on his own time is his own damn business. Get out of here, Google. Surfshark even goes the extra mile by writing a blog that explains to you how you can even save money on airline tickets using a VPN. This is crazy. I didn't know you could do this. Let's not forget. You could use Surfshark to watch region lock content. Wink, wink. Click the link in the description. Or use the code It's a Gundam to find out how you can save 83% and get three months off for free. And guess what? If you don't like it, there's a 30 day money back guarantee. You can't lose. But the music from the anime was good. Cue the sound bites, Stu. Hey, stop! What? He can't play it. What can we do? Nothing. We're still allowed to do nothing. That's good. I don't know what I'll do when they take nothing from me. It wasn't some watered down storyline. It was tragic, yet hopeful, but unapologetic in its nature, much like reality. No matter how you want to dress it up. Reality is often disappointing. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, Daddy, chill. The world isn't what we want it to be, and it never shall be. Only for a select few like the gods on Mount Olympus stand at the precipice of what they want and desire. The rest of us are like peasants and rats scurrying about for crumbs. At least it is true that man has no control, even over his own will. I would say Berserk is a modern day Greek tragedy. It transcends culture and temporal boundaries because of the themes in the manga are universal, much like Greek tragedies before it. And if you think about it, Greek tragedies inspired plays and storytelling for centuries after the fall of Greece. I dare say Shakespeare was inspired by Greek tragedies as much as FromSoft was inspired by Berserk. What makes Guts the greatest protagonist ever in my personal opinion, and this is coming from a guy who lives his life like a low-rent Batman, Aristotle once put it such as this. He believed that heroes in a tragedy needed to be good, but not so good that you can't relate to them. This is why Batman is more popular in DC than Superman, 
We're not even talking about the gay son. But you see my point. Superman, the man of tomorrow, the hope of the world, blah, blah, blah. Batman had to make the hard decisions. He was flawed. What was it like growing up with him? When I was a kid, I idolized him. Hell, I wanted to be him. But the older I got, the more I realized that I didn't know him at all. How could I? Bruce Wayne is as much a mask as Batman. And I think the only thing behind those masks is pain. A pain he refuses to share with anyone. So what was it like? Lonely. He screwed up. High functioning depressive, baby. Get on the boat, ladies. There's only so many of us left. <laughs> but point being, people trying to be good but making mistakes along the way was the epitome of a good heroic protagonist in a Greek tragedy and dare I say in all of entertainment medium. This is why all the female superheroes suck. Ray Skywalker is garbage. Captain Marvel with Brie Larson? Where's the character? Never mind that. Where's her ass? He's out of line, but he's right. And that's what makes Guts amazing. He's flawed. He's scarred. He's damaged. He's crippled, for God's sakes. He doesn't have a hand, and he's missing an eye. Talk about fighting ableism. This man is damaged, and he faces impossible odds while also learning how to reconnect with people again in his life later on in the manga. After spending years just completely unable to relate to people, to even be touched by other human beings. I'm not going to spoil the story for you, but the character is actually incredibly deep. Now let's take it on another level. Aristotle also said this. Tragedy, says Aristotle, is the imitation of an action that is serious, complete, and of certain magnitude, through pity and fear, affecting the proper purgation, catharsis, of these emotions. What he means by that is these tragedies, such as Berserk, allows you to have a cathartic release of your misery and pains through these characters. Because let's face it, the 2020s are sucking right now, and they're probably going to get worse. Most important of all, Aristotle said, is the structure of the incidents. For tragedy is an imitation not of men, but of an action and of life. And life consists in action, and its end is a mode of action, not a quality. Aristotle considered the plot to be the soul of tragedy, with the characters in second place. The overall story and world building of Berserk will engulf you if you allow it to do so. Maybe Aristotle's formula for Greek tragedy is right. Or I'm having Texas sharpshooter fallacy moments. Look it up, I can't explain everything to you. But if you don't agree with me on Berserk and you enjoy Elden Ring, take a look at this photo for comparison and get flexed on, kid. Okay, one last one. The Heramartia as Aristotle called it, the error of judgment that leads to tragedies. There are so many points in Berserk that this phrase fits into perfectly. Guts leaving the band of the Hawk and Casca. Griffith going out of his way to get Guts to join the band of the Hawk, right? Among the thousands of comrades and the tens of thousands of enemies, only you, only you ever made me forget my dreams. Okay. Gambino taking in Guts. Casca not leaving with Guts when he left the band of the Hawk. Griffith sneaking off to go to Cheryl's room and have sex with her. And forgetting that he broke his sword when the king's men find out, right? Because the king goes crazy. He's in love with his daughter. It's a weird thing going on there, right? Griffith was so just distraught over Guts leaving that he just loses his mind. And in that one action, he loses becoming a prince, marrying her, and, you know, taking over the realm. I can't even remember the stupid name of the country right now. But there's so many points where the phrase Heramatia fits in perfect, you know, as I was saying before, modern day Greek tragedy. I'm having an epiphany over here. And I guess it's rare that I speak about anything I actually care about. But whatever. We could also say that Berserk itself is philosophical, as if to talk about Greek tragedy didn't already hint at that. Many themes in the manga are taken from Friedrich Nietzsche's philosophies, for God's sakes. Guts' sword is named the Dragon Slayer. It can't be any more on the nose than that. Honestly, I could go on in depth 
with my views of Berserk and explaining the deeper meanings that I see personally, that would most likely and ultimately just be an echo of thoughts that others have already expressed that were more learned than me on YouTube and probably went to school for the sort of crap that also read manga. But suffice to say, anyone who relegates Berserk to blog post a while ago about why I f***ing hate Berserk. Because this is what it does, it appeals to like the male fantasy. Or it's gore porn. Exposes themselves for what Nietzsche would call the herd mentality and the herd morality. Don't ever let these simple first glance views of Berserk bother you. These people are simplistic in nature and thought and take everything at face value and cannot see nor look for a deeper meaning to anything because their view of the world is absolute because these people suffer from a level of hubris hopefully you will never know or never exhibit yourself. Well, enough of me waxing poetically about Berserk, my favorite manga of all time that I'm talking to you about with the same bias as the news media about a certain laptop that wasn't real but certainly is now. Weird! Twitter Brainlet's got Winter Berserk since Elden Ring is like crazy popular right now. For a minute, it had more views than just chatting on Twitch. That's huge for a video game right now. That Elden Ring is so hot right now. And with this popularity, it has brought new eyes to the manga itself. And the people on Twitter went catatonic. A panel from, I'd say, Berserk 11, most likely. I could be wrong, but it was right after the Band of the Hawk freed Griffith. So that was Berserk 10, for sure. And the King sent out the Black Dog Knights to go after the Band of the Hawk for freeing Griffith because the King hates the living hell out of Griffith. This panel shows Wild, an apostle riding a horse with the corpses of women and children chopped up and placed on pikes. Wild is one of many humans turned to demons, apostles, that once they are granted power, they lose all of their humanity and they just become devils walking the earth. They're demons, basically. They're horrible creatures. You want them dead. Apostles in the Christian theology, is that how you say it, or theology? Well, anyway, the apostles are the 12 chief disciples of Jesus Christ, and they are very important in early Christianity teachings, especially St. Paul. Apostles in Berserk are a total 180 from the Christian variety. Most apostles are defined by their lack of empathy and insatiable desire for bloodshed. Though there are exceptionally disciplined apostles such as Grumbeld, Irvine, and Locus, who are able to suppress their ravenous tendencies following the incarnation ceremony. Numerous apostles flock to Griffith and pledge their allegiance to him. In doing so, they are finally granted a place in the world of man, fighting alongside humans as the White Falcon, metaphorical beaks and talons. That's further on in the manga. Point being, apostles are horrible creatures. They're monsters, basically. So this panel further illustrates how terrible they are. And I'm just saying that only Wild was an apostle. All the men who followed him were normal humans, and they did his bidding because they were scared to death he'd kill them, which he usually would. If you weren't having fun, so you had to pretend to be happy and having fun, even when you're killing people. And if you showed any weakness or sorrow, he killed you. So they were more like prisoners. But that's neither here nor there. I'm not going to explain Berserk to you or the people who will never read this manga because they're too busy virtue singling to the world. Like, oh my god, this is terrible. Misogyny. Bigots! They just start firing off their favorite buzzwords for denouncing someone. I saw more people denounce Berserk for days than people who are outraged or upset by smash and grabs that are going on in LA and Chicago and New York. Stores are being robbed. I just saw a man's cat be attacked by black guys' pit bulls because they thought it'd be fun. Twitter sleeps. A manga that has killed no one is the biggest issue we've had in weeks. God help us all, America's burning. But let's get back to the tweets from people that have the mental complexity of children. For real, I haven't seen takes this bad since the evasion, where people on Twitter literally made the war somehow about themselves. Dear President Vladimir Putin, I'm so sorry that I was not your mother. Like, where's the entertainment in this? 
I just explained the panel to you, but this person didn't read Berserk. Final Boy. Yeah, Final Fantasy fan. I should expect no less. I don't know. I'm generally very much in favor of freedom of expression. But as far as I can tell, there's nothing actually being said with this. It's the equivalent of violence. Violent, gory, misogynistic porn, which I absolutely do feel should be illegal. Thank God the Founding Fathers weren't retarded because we'd all be in jail by these type of thought processes. Here's someone using Lenny Kravitz's daughter as an icon, which tells me this person didn't care about Zoe Kravitz till she got in the Batman movie. You're so brave, honey. It's deathly excessive, not gonna lie. You're kinda right, cause Berserk shows a kid being- I guess I could say I'd have to edit out the whole thing right there. Which I think should be illegal. You have to be a pedophile to draw that, and that the writer kinda deserved to die. Although the story was good. What? Wait, although the story was good, what? Medieval times was it like this? This would have been way before then. I imagine a world like this where before our records, history was similar but lost civilizations. Sorry, Outlaw Realms. I guess you never heard of Vlad the Impaler, who literally killed people by sticking them on pipes and letting gravity slowly impale them, and he would eat under their dead bodies. History didn't record it, though. This, I'm telling you, dude, the school system is failing. They're too busy teaching the kids about gender dysphoria or whatever, and nothing about history. These sort of things probably happened when people were cavemen and ate bugs. Cat said berserk is shit, and I'm glad the Mangaki is burning in hell. I took the time to check Cat's Twitter page. It's basically an angry lesbian who's even, like, mad at transsexuals. So it's real funny. It's an LGBTQ member who's transphobic nonetheless. That's also lusting after arcane characters to the point of where it's weird. So you posting up this, that's cool. You know, your little freaky fetishes. But Berserk, oh, this is disgusting. It's terrible. The writer deserves to burn. Oh, God, what a bum. Berserk isn't dark, it's just half hentai gore porn for horny teens. Thanks, Rayforce. Wait, solo Rayforce? Which means this dude's like a, a Ray fan? Did, did a Ray fan actually come on my timeline and sully it? See, Berserk fans make the manga trend because there are people complaining about how it treats women, you know? I appreciate Berserk, I love Bloodborne, which is inspired from it, but wow! The fan base for these works is so bigoted. How are they bigoted? How are women affected by this? It's a manga, you know. People die in mangas. Does it affect your life? Manga has animated women that have died in the thing. Women most affected. Do you know how many dudes died in Berserk? Everybody dies in Berserk. It's not gendered, you freak. Any criticism from women is written off as simply not being tough enough. To understand something so gritty, it, it makes me want to puke. I wish everything I like wasn't full of... Pompous men? Hmm. You see that? Huh? You see what happens? The ink soaks in the system and the guy's freaked out. Look at him. What are you, you freak? Oh, wait. There's Animal Crossing. Maybe that's why I love it so much. God, your life must be so devoid of any real issues or traumas that this is bothering you. You know, I don't like Sex in the City. I always thought that it was unrealistic, it was stupid, and it tainted a generation of women that made them think they could frit around in relationships up until their late 40s, buying expensive shoes, and then one day you walk off with Mr. Big and you live happily ever after, despite your body count being higher than John Rambo, and you being as emotionally complex as a Subway's club card. But I digress. I don't go on Twitter and cry about it or complain. They even brought it back. Now it's geriatric women's sex in the city. You don't see Daddy Gundam posting about it like, oh my God. Oh, it's so archaic. It's a woman's power fantasy. Being anti-PC has always been the big part of Berserk brand. I love the manga, the first anime series, and the Golden Age arc from the film trilogy. It was okay at best. And so I tolerate its attitude, but it kind of wants to offend people. That's kind of the point. 
Berserk doesn't want to offend people. Of course, they have like a Ukrainian flag in their bio. Thanks for fighting the power. You're really helping people with that one. What a hero you are. Point being, how in God's green earth does it want to offend people? It's literally a guy telling a story. By this mindset, then the Lord of the Rings wants to offend people because none of the elves were black. Tolkien purposefully made the elves white. I absolutely love Berserk, but it's not free of sexist writing. And I don't mean the fact that racial assault exists in it, but the way it differs between the male and female victims and how it's depicted. The panels of guts getting assaulted are drawn absolutely gut-wrenching. Well, he is like an eight-year-old boy, but you know what? Let's let it go. Because then it just goes on about how it's basically sexist and all the female characters have the same type of bodies. Like, what do you want him to do? I mean, you're as dead, for God's sakes. And you're literally complaining that a manga didn't have more fat chicks, probably. White image of beauty that has oppressed women for centuries. Hey, crime. Hey, crime. Where are the nude models of color? The people of girth. The handicapable. The elderly. The queer. Well, I'm sorry. It's just naked, fat, black, crippled dykes are hard to find. Like, good God almighty. Now, I'm done with this, too, because it's stupid at this point. How many more of these could there be? How many more stupid takes could I see? Weird motherfuckers for being rightfully upset about seeing violent scenes of dead women in manga. How can you be upset? Of, it's, it's a manga, you freak. You know what's weird? People on Twitter are sharing videos of dead soldiers going on in the war. But dead, animated, unreal people in a manga over the line. No, this is terrible. These are the same people cheering for death in another country because they're psychotic. But now, the manga, too much. Oh, the women, no, the children. They're not even real. I don't care. They need help. Like, and then saying, oh, well, it's supposed to be a dark fantasy. There are ways to depict dark fantasies without all the horrendous shit, I promise. Then go read that, Sega PlayStation goofball. How hard is it to do? Nobody's taking your face and jamming it into Miura's book and going, read the death and destruction. Nobody's doing anything to you. You're literally making a mountain out of a molehill that's all to do with you. You're the type of asshole that I move next to that's always peering over the fence to see what I'm doing and whether you approve of it or not. Good Christ. Ugh. Oh. God, there's no testosterone in men today. It disgusts me. Lord help us if there's ever an alien invention, an alien invasion, because there will be nothing left of us. It'll just be Alex Jones screaming in a jar. Nothing I've heard or seen from this series makes me want to read it. Good, don't. I don't care how good the story is. There's no reason for this much in the story. It can be as much as the author wants because it's their creation. What's weird with Twitter folks is they believe they have power over other people's entities. And that's another thing that makes me sick about Twitter. They will sit there and take a Marvel character that has an established history and completely throw it out the window and make him gay as shit. And go, yas, queen! And it's like, this character isn't gay. Well, they were coded gay for years. Here's the very, very innocuous and vapid chart that I've made myself to further illustrate that I'm right and you're wrong. There's so many stories out there for yuppies. My God, the entire Marvel Cinematic Universe is made for Twitter folks. And it isn't enough. This is why manga is killing the comic book industry. And it's starting to take the movie industry. Because they're trying to cater to these people who can't even take having a fly in their coffee. Oh God, I'm ranting into the heavens. I don't care how good the story is. There's no reason for this much in a story. Like, what is it about women getting assaulted constantly? That's so appealing and intriguing to people. Everyone gets assaulted. I've seen dudes rip to shreds in Berserk. Did you not even see the eclipse? The eclipse was literally all men being ripped to pieces. The ground was nothing but the blood of men and soldiers. You notice how nobody's complaining about those panels where tons of men are dying in battles? Nobody? <laughs> what? That's fine. It's good to see an animated man die because I'm sure he was toxic in his fantasy life that I've pieced together for myself. Let it go, Gundam. Let it go. All I'm saying is, fuck Twitter. That's what I'm saying. It's full of psychopaths and pretty much grown-ass kids. 
that all think the world should be as safe as their bedroom. Guess what it isn't. And maybe there are people out there that I don't know are adults and they like to read adult content. All right. These are the same people who sit there and tell you to support some girls only fans where she's sticking gigantic things up her orifices and they'll sit there and go support sex workers. But then you like berserk. Somehow you're a monster. <laughs> Bums. I hate when stuff that's cool gets in the, the eyes of normies because normies suck. People who aren't part of the fan base just blow because they can't comprehend something outside of what they... Whoa, I'm interested in it. Wait a minute. It's not homogenized. This hasn't been curated for me. Please, someone get an EA executive to make sure this ticks all of my diversity boxes. I'm offended by a cartoon. <laughs> oh, God, I wish some of you grew up when I was a kid. You'd, you'd explode into nothingness. The first day a bully punches you in the face and runs your pockets and takes your money. You just evap your, evaporate into nothing. Like, oh my God, the real world sucks. And they're gone like a fart. Won't you please hit the subscribe button, please? Can we stop this cruel game and allow the boy to keep one shred of dignity? For God's sakes, I can't stand to see him in all this pain. You vicious bastards. Little puppy 